Hello you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel for part two of my PS3 collection guys. Yep. Following in a Yorkshireman 66 fashion guys I'm do doing my PS3 collection. Uh, obviously I did a massive PS2 collection, a nine parter. Well <laughs> this isn't going to be anywhere near as big guys but um, yeah we're going to knock on with another 50 guys in this part two. Right, let's see what we've got here then, guys. The usual thing, I'm going to grab a lord. Here we go. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if there's any books there. Of course, not all of them did have books, but the majority still did at that time. So it'll be interesting to see. Well, we're going to start off with an interesting one anyway, guys. So yeah, starting with Demon Souls. You can see there's an elastic band around this one. For a good reason. Let's take it off. Because the book came with this one. There we are. The uh, strategy guide came with this one. So that was lovely that this came with it. This was wicked. Let's have a look at some of the stuff in there. Let's have a look. So flip through there. So you got all your characters and what have you. And of course your guide right the way through. So we all know what a guide looked like back in the day. Eh? We don't see them so often these days, do you? But yeah, that was fantastic. Nice thick book there that came with it. Right, let's have a look at the game itself. This is in immaculate, immaculate condition, guys. It's like it's just come out of the flipping shop. It is in fantastic condition. This is a game I dearly, dearly love. It is freaking hard. Hard as bloody nails, but I love it. I think it's fantastic. Of course, by Bandai. And there we are. It is complete with the book in just fantastic condition again. Like new. Absolutely blinding. So yeah, that's number one. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Demon Souls. Right, put that down carefully. Did I actually show you the back of it? I don't think I did, did I? There we go. There's the back of it. Yeah, wicked. What a way to start. Right, and then moving on, guys, to another fantastic one, guys. And this has got a price on it of uh, $1.99. Ooh. Uh, and also an old CX one with eight quid on it. But yeah, it's got a cash converter sticker on it, guys. And this is Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Now, I've got a funny feeling. I've shown this one already. It's possible. Very, very possible. You know what to do, guys. Comment below if you spot any doubles. And of course they'll go over for Gaming Grandad. There we are. Brilliant. Yeah, one ninety nine. That was a stellar price to pay for it. Wow. Whew. Blimey. And that is, yeah, we've definitely seen this one, guys. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, that'll be one to be put aside. That's a nice little treat there. Wicked complete. Again. Another copy of it, so that'll go down that side on top of the pile. Right next, we have uh, yeah, another one, it's marked 199 again, guys. So, fantastic price again. Now, I talked about this actually in my last video because I was talking about the Nomad Soul um, and how the sequel was dropped because of this game because they invested everything into this instead, and it is heavy rain. With another cash converter sticker on there that I attached usually with super glue. But yeah, again in fantastic condition, guys. Fantastic. Oh, do I adore this game. I love it. As much as I, uh, you know, I'm sorry that we didn't get the uh, the sequel to uh, The Nomad Soul. This is why, and uh, we wouldn't have it if they'd have made it, would we? There we are. It is complete with book again. Wicked. Let's have a look. It's got some bump in the back as well, I do believe. Has it? Uh, yeah, it's even got the little mappy thing in the back there. So, yeah, wicked that. Brilliant. All about catching a serial killer, of course. Wicked. Put him down there. Then we have Assassin's Creed Revelations. Have I shown this one already? Do you know what? I'm losing track, guys. I'm absolutely losing track. 
Hmm. In a Blu-ray box. Hmm. That's not the proper box, I'm pretty sure. But maybe it is. There we go. It's back. And it is completo. Uh, oh no, this is a, D <laughs> a DVD. Ooh. A Blu-ray box, guys, because it would have had two Blu-rays in it. And it's been, yeah, doctored to just have this game in it instead. So the original case must have broken and they just swapped it over. So, yeah, wicked. It is complete. So, so yeah, I think I've shown this one already. So just in case I have, I shall put it over here. Uh, next, guys, we have iPet Move edition mm. again guys i collect all the move ones yeah just got to haven't you oh yeah yeah move edition yeah i just thought i'd better check that i saw that right yeah there we are. um don't know if i played it guys to be honest um could be kind of fun i should think yeah most of those types of games are quite fun yeah there we go brilliant that is complete Wicked. I'll put them on there. And here's another one, guys. Another iPet one. This is, uh, yeah, not a Move Edition one, is it? Just PlayStation I, of course. Uh, required. There we are. There's the back. Again, like I said, they can be quite fun, guys. And that is, oh, complete. Look, it's complete with its uh, card still intact let's have a look pull the card out a minute there we go this is one of those ones guys where it's got the stand on the back so you can stand it up and there's the book so yeah that's wicked that it's complete like that brilliant put the card back in there we go excellent brilliant. right let's grab a few more well, hey we have kung fu rider guys Again, uh, you will need these, so it shows the move and the camera again. Kung Fu Rider. Should be interesting. Hmm. I have played it, but I can't really remember it very much. Oh, yes, I do remember it. Yeah, it's, it's quite fun for what it is. Yeah, not too bad. And it is completo by the looks of it. Anything tucked in the back? No, just uh, some very weird artwork in the back there. Yeah, that should be pretty damn good. There we go. Brilliant. Complete. And next we have Resistance 3, guys. Oh boy, do I love, do I love these flipping games, guys. I love them. They are bloody, bloody fun. Right back to the first one. Oh, just... Just awesome, guys. Yeah, remember that so well. And I've actually played them recently again. Just for the hell of it, because I love them. This one is, yeah, complete with book. And reversible cover, of course. There we go. Wicked. Excellent. Right, next we have Call of Duty Ghosts. Mm, not much to be said, is there? Brilliant. Brilliant. Simple as that. Fantastic. Who cannot love this franchise, guys? Jeez Louise. Now it's had its ups and downs, but flipping it. This one is, I do believe, complete with all its gubbins and book. Let's have a look if the book's tucked in the back there, or did it not have a proper book? No, it's just lots of gubbins, all the... Uh, all the extra bits and bobs, yeah. So it probably didn't have a book. Uh, it just had all the bits. Because everything else is there. Lots and lots of bits and bobs. So I presume, yeah, it is complete. There we go. Wicked. Lovely condition again. Right, next. Oh, we've shown this one already as well. Capcom's Dark Void. So I'll be heading over the other side as well. For gaming granddad. There we go. Here's the back again. I'll still show it. There we go. That is missing the book, this one. I'm not sure if the other one had it in there or what. I'll have to double check. 
But yeah, that is a fantastic game, guys. God, did I have fun with this. Excellent. Right, over there. Right, the next guys, from the makers of Heavy Rain, guys, again. So also, the makers of the fantastic The Nomad Soul for the Dreamcast. It is uh, Beyond Two Souls. Now this is a flipping awesome game as well. Oh my word, is it good. Flipping brilliant. i tell you what, if you love Heavy Rain, you will absolutely adore this as well. And you'll adore the Nomad Soul. They're all just flipping fantastic. And it is Completo Wicked. Brilliant. Again, fantastic condition. Let's see if one can smack me in the face today. Shall we see? Hmm. Uh, then we got Brink, guys. So you've got quite a few here that Yorkshire Man had as well. Yorkshire Man 66 had quite a few of these, guys. But there's Brink, yet yeah, again. Uh, Marmite game, guys. A lot of people hated it. I really enjoyed it. And that's all I can say, guys. Again, just my opinion. I really enjoyed it. Again, in lovely condition. And it is Completo. So wicked. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but yeah, I enjoyed that. Uh, next we have Grand Theft Auto 5 again, guys. Now, I'm pretty sure I showed this already, didn't I? Yeah. So that'll be a nice one to go into Gaming Grandad's box. This is absolutely, again, immaculate. Like brand new, guys. And that's what, you know, short of not having a wrap on it. And it is complete. Again, I bet it's got everything in the back as well. Yes, it has got the map and everything there, as you can see. So that is a fantastic one. Yeah, brilliant. There we go. Well, have I shown this already? It's possible I haven't, you know, because I'm probably getting it mixed up. With, um, when did I show another copy of this? Hmm, it wouldn't be on the PS2, would it? So, yeah, maybe it was. Maybe it was another copy on the PS3. But, yeah, fantastic. That is in lovely condition, guys. So, whether I've got it twice or not. Mm. Right, next we have Max Payne, guys. With loads of stickers on it still. Well, I haven't taken them off again. And these are CX stickers, they're usually easier to get off. So yeah, Max Payne 3. There we are. Again, I love this franchise, guys. I always have a blast with it, I really do. And it is complete with a ton of bloody stuff in the back. A ton of stuff. Wicked. We're doing well with the books, guys, aren't we? Really doing well. Mm. Yeah. Right, grab another load. What have we got next? I've got them upside down here, guys. So I'll just spin them round. Uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Oh, you know how much I love this franchise. I've never had a bad moment, guys. I really haven't. I know other people like, mm, you know, they're a bit like this with some lukewarm with some of them. But, oh, I love Need for Speed games, guys. I love them. Way, way back already. When I was playing the very first title, guys, The Need for Speed, um, on the 3DO, guys, I was playing it back then on the Panasonic 3DO. And I still play it to this day, guys, because I've got a Panasonic 3DO, of course, and I do still play it. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And it is completo. So that's brilliant as well. What more can you say? Fantastic franchise. Right, then we have uh, Borderlands, the pre squeal. There we are, with a nice price on the front there of 149 Weirdly. Yeah. Huh. Includes Shock Drop Slaughter Pit. Hmm. I love this version, guys. I really do. Uh, my mate sort of got me onto this one. Um, he said to me, you know, you've you got to get that one. 
um, it's it's the best one and uh, and we were playing against each other for ages it was just so much bloody fun it really was that is complete wicked uh battlefield four guys with a 99p price tag on it look at that i've got of course god knows when i got these um you know but it certainly ain't worth much more than that is it 99p that's probably about as money really if not a bit cheaper there we go yeah again battlefield i always enjoy them uh is there a book here no it's just it's bump so it probably didn't have one to begin with there we go battlefield oh yeah again have a lot of fun with them and Battlefield Bad Company 2. I think Mark showed this one as well. And look at that price tag again, guys. 75p. Can't go wrong, can you? 75p to have it in your collection. And uh, yeah, you can get some fun out of it, can't you? There we are. It is completo. Tell you what, I'm having a lot of luck here. What's going on, eh? That never happens. Right, next, guys, we have Assassin's Creed again. And it's their Brotherhood. And this one is 99p as well originally. Look at that. I don't even know if this is what I paid from, guys, or what. I really don't. Probably. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Especially when Game were clearing them all out. That's probably when I picked some of these up, when Game were clearing them. And there we are. It is complete, is it? Uh, well, it's as complete as it's going to be. Yeah, it is complete, guys. Yeah, it's got the book in the back there as well. It's just a very thin book. Um, so yeah, push that a little bit of bump back in there. There we go. So yeah, wicked. Complete up. Again. Wicked. Wicked. Bloody franchise. Again, ups and downs, but generally, bloody good. Uh, here again, guys, another one. 49p. Oh, yeah, these are the ones I picked up, I think, from game at the time. Uh, where they were just banging them out. And it is Def Jam Rap Star. 49 pens. Konami. Wow. There we go. There's the back. And it is complete. Wicked. Yeah, definitely from the game clearance when they got rid of all that gen games. Xbox 360 and, of course, Wii U, PS3, all these different ones. Yeah. Brilliant. Next we have another 99p here guys and it is <laughs> rockstar's fantastic game guys if you have never tried this you really must grab it it's on the switch and it's not expensive on the switch either guys um yeah been ported over to there it is la noir what a fantastic detective game brilliant brilliant by rockstar i had such a blast with this when i first played it guys such a blast i think i first played it actually on the uh, Xbox 360. Oh, look at the state of that book. That has been eaten. Yeah, someone's pet got to that, but fantastic, it's still complete though. I mean, even if the book is a bit rough. Brilliant, brilliant game. Give it a chance if you haven't played it already. Right, another load, guys. Uh, here we have Sleeping Dogs, guys. I mean, oh, how can you not love this game? It is absolutely fantastic sleeping dogs 18 across 18 plus by square enix uh brilliant love it there we are there's the back what a fantastic game so much fun with this so much fun and again my mate put me onto that one at the time love it Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I think we've had this one already. Uh, so this is probably the third time, I think. But I'll show it again. There we go. Yeah, Gaming Grand has got some stuff coming his way again, I tell you. It's all building up slowly. Yeah, that is complete as well. Excellent. So I shall put that over the other side again. Because I'm pretty damn sure we've had that one already. Uh, next, guys, is uh, Saints Raw the whatever, because I hate Roman numerals. Uh, yeah, fantastic game. With all the big stickers on it again, look. Oh, dear. £1.50. Yeah. I think it probably goes for a little bit more than that now. 
There's the back. Seeing as all the prices went up with the pandemic, didn't they? And it is, yeah, complete. Wicked. Again, you have just a ton, a ton of bloody fun with these games, guys, with the Saints Row games. Oh, my word. What a load of fun. <sighs> right, next, guys, we have uh, WW13. Yeah, WW13. Uh, again, guys, if they're done well, then they're done well, aren't they? Look at that. Yeah, I mean, that looks bloody awesome. Look at it. Yeah. And it is complete. So that's good. Yeah, I do love them when they're done well, and this is done well. Oh, here we go again, guys. Need for Speed, Most Wanted. I know this is one of the ones, guys, and not everybody likes. You know, some of the uh, the real fans of Need for Speed couldn't get their heads around this one. But I think it's fantastic. I love it on the Vita as well. Oh, I think it's stunning. I love it. There we are. There's the back. Feels very light. Oh, it's very light because there's no book. And I'm sure there is, normally. But yeah, fantastic have it in the collection anyway right next lot here we go right this one is red yeah, red dead redemption undead nightmare now hmm, this one looks familiar as well i'm pretty sure i showed you this last time as well i might be wrong maybe it was a different one i don't you know there's that many of them um yeah so i'll show you anyway and i'll put it aside just in case there we go. Yeah, that was eight quid, that one. Probably didn't pay that for it. And there we go. Wicked. Look at that. Complete again. So fantastic. But yes, I'm going to put that over the side just in case. Because I'm pretty sure I've shown you that already. And it might have even been in better condition. There's a few little niggles there. Yeah, might put them over there. Then we have Skyrim, guys. What a superb game this is. Oh, never gets old for me, guys. Never gets old. Oh, just, just, just fantastic. And uh, I may have paid £2 for it by the looks of it. Not too sure. That's the uh, price I paid or what. And I can tell already, guys, yeah, this is complete with the, uh, well, the, the, cloth map i call it it's got the cloth feel to it hasn't it yeah so it is some kind of fabric so it is yeah got the, the original cloth cloth map <laughs> and it is complete with book so yeah that is fantastic that it's got the map in there guys so yeah if i did pay two quid for that that is a flipping bargain there we go wicked then we have Hitman Absolution. Again, one that Mark showed, I do believe. Still got the price on the front again. I've really been slacking on these, haven't I? Taking the prices off. Well. And that is, he says, pushing it back into place. There we go. It's complete with book, so that's fantastic. Again, yeah, really, really fun, the Hitman games. Again, Right back to the beginning, I've always loved these. They are just fun. Hard, but bloody fun. There we go, wicked. Yeah. Next, oh, here we go again, guys. How many times have I got these? Call of Duty Black Ops. The first Black Ops. But yeah. Do you want to go over the side again? Over the other side. And it is complete with book. Wicked. Yeah, so we'll put that one over to the pile. There we go. Wicked. And we have Mass Effect 2. Again, I love the Mass Effect games, guys. I love them. 
Um, yeah, just, oh, they're just so fun. And it says they include six hours of bonus missions. Wow. There we go. Fantastic. Feels very light. Oh, no, hang on. The book might be there. No, no, it's just a bump by the looks of it. So, again, maybe it didn't have one to begin with. It's got all the bump there. It'd be a bit weird that the book's just missing. But, yeah. Excellent. Love the franchise. So, yeah. I'll always get some fun out of it, no matter what. Right, grab another load. Right, put them ready on my knee. And hang on a minute. All right, here we go. <coughs> As we've got halfway now. Always have to have my bait break, don't I, eh? Yeah. Right, onwards and upwards, he says. Right, here we go, guys, with Bayonetta. Again, fantastic game. Got it on Wii U as well. Oh, just, just adore these games, guys. Adore them. Brilliant. They are... Very challenging, but bloody fantastic to uh, to play. Wow. And that is, yay, complete. Complete with book. So that is fantastic as well. Yeah, oh, I really do love these games, guys. I love them. They're fantastic. And, of course, Sega. Yeah, brilliant. Yep. Right, put that down there. Right, next one. <laughs> oh, seriously, man. <sighs> there we go again. Can you guess? Call of Duty. Ghosts. I've just shown you this one, haven't I? A little bit earlier. Or was that Ghosts? To... Oh, who knows? Like I said, guys, I give up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've shown you this already. And this one is... Complete with its bump. That's all. So, yeah, again, guys, fantastic franchise, but I think I've shown you it already. <laughs> so I'll put it over there for now, on top of that stack there. Right, then we have Medal of Honor, guys. Uh, fantastic franchise. Just a bit unloved, isn't it? Why is it so unloved? Because it's up against some stiff competition, isn't it? That's why. So yeah, Medal of Honor, guys. Oh, I, th I think it's brilliant. There we go. It is complete. Look it. Yeah, and this is what includes Medal of Honor or something like that. Oh, Frontline. Yeah. There we go. Look it. Yep. Right, bring it down there. Right, next we have Dead Rising 2. Off the record. Mm. Nice one. Again, fantastic franchise, guys. Just for some zombie blasting fun. Uh, brilliant. <laughs> There's the old uh, newspaper on the back there. And it is complete. Brilliant. Wicked. Of course, I've got a yeah, sealed copy of... Uh, uh, Dead Rising uh, up there as well, haven't I? I mean, I'll put it back up there because it's on display. Um, yeah, so, you know, I love this franchise, guys. Fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, complete. I did, I did show you already, yeah. And then we have the standard Dead Rising 2, guys. There we are. There's the back. And that's not complete. Oh, see, there, were, there had to be some, didn't there? There had to be some. Yeah, so that's just a standard one there. Brilliant. Oh, dear me. Here we go. It had, had to come sooner or later, guys, a singing one. Uh, everyone sing with friends to 35 hit tracks from. Yeah, her with the unpronounceable name. Nicole with the unpronounceable surname. Uh, Nicki Minaj, The Wanted, you know, all, all the best then. Yeah, not something I'll be playing in a hurry. And there we are. That is complete with book. 
for what it's worth. <laughs> I mean, yeah, some people still get a bit of a kick out of these, don't they? Um, I do if they I do some of them, especially if they're rock ones, you know, metal, rock metal. Mm, I would get a kick out of them because I would. Yeah, there we go. Uh, then we have the and the usuals, guys. You've got to have those sports titles in there, and this is FIFA 12. There we are. Or Wayne Rooney on the front. There we are. You know me, guys. I don't particularly like football games, but you know I do do play them now and again. Yeah, just the bump there. So again, I presume. Maybe there wasn't a book to begin with. I don't know. I don't really know them that well, to be honest, you know. Right, grab another load. Right, here we go again. Following on with FIFA 14. There we go. And yet, yeah, same again, guys. No book, just all that, the same bump. So, yeah, I presume that's how it's meant to be. You, you'll know better than me, guys. Comment below. I expect there's no books with them, is there? There we go. Not much to say there. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. Now, this is another one, guys. Capcom. Hmm. I love, love, love this game. And I never hear anybody talk about it. Nobody ever talks about it. What is with that? I had so much fun with it. And it's a Capcom game, guys. Uh, advertising Resident Evil 6 on the front there. Look. Yeah. Why does nobody talk about this game? I really, really enjoyed it. Maybe it's just me. Um, yeah. But mind me, guys. Oh, look, I'm doing it again. It is complete. You did see anyway. I know you did. Does it have any bump in the back? No, not really. But yeah, I really enjoyed that, guys. There's something weird behind you. Let's have a look. Let's pop it out a minute. What does it show on the back? Ah, again, advert for Resident Evil 6. There we go. Yeah. Well, I enjoyed it anyway. Let me know, what do you think of this game? Have you played it? Doesn't get enough love. Oh, here we go, an Essentials one, guys. Uh, which is basically Platinum, isn't it? Essentials Tomb Raider Underworld. I am picking up the essentials now, you know, got to be done. If you're a collector like me, it's got to be done. There we are, and, yep, yeah, it is complete. Yep, yeah, there's the right disc in there as well. Again, guys, I've said this many times, I love Tomb Raider games. Right back to the beginning, to the present, I love them. And I'll always get some fun out of them. Yeah, there's the next one. Right, here we go, guys. We're getting down to the last stack here. Uh, another Call of Duty, but I haven't shown this one yet, thank God. Call of Duty World at War. Brilliant game. You know, a bit more like what Call of Duty was all about originally, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, this, this, this is oh, brilliant. And it is completo. Oh, wicked. Can't go wrong. There we have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Now, I know I've shown one of them. I think it was... Mm, which one was it? Um, it was the first one, I think, that I showed already. So this is good. And we've got two to show. There we go. Again, fantastic games, guys. Fantastic. And it is not complete. Uh, had to happen. But yeah, brilliant to have it anyway. Then we have Far Cry 2. And I know that's here because I can feel the flipping weight on it. Wow. Far Cry 2. Again, you can't go wrong with these guys. Can't go wrong with them. Ubisoft at their best. Oh, 18 again. Yeah, Ubisoft at their best, guys. These, these are brilliant. Immense amount of fun. Yeah, you can see it's got everything there, guys. Even the map packs there. 
or the map poster if you want to call it that and the book is in the back guys there we go so yeah fantastic to have it complete up excellent Right, next, guys. Infamous. <laughs> shown this already, haven't I? I'm pretty sure. Mm, pretty sure I've shown this already. This is in lovely, lovely condition now. Lovely condition. So hopefully it's a better condition one. And, of course, you have different editions as well, you know, that come out. Um, so this might be, you know, just your, your bog standard one, and the other one might have had a bit of extra, and it has a different kind of cover. So, yeah, it's possible that I haven't shown the exact same one. Possible. Uh, no gumph in the back, just the book, which is fantastic. I'd rather have the book than the gumph. Yeah, that is excellent, but hmm, what's looking? Yes. <sighs> Wonder where this came from, guys. It's got the bloody platinum disc in it, hasn't it? Git. Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. And we have Genie Days of the Blade. Yeah, this is a an alright game. Um, I found it, I do believe, originally, um, I found it a little bit difficult. But if you stick with it, you'll, uh, you'll have a ton of fun with it. One that you don't see as often around. There we are, it is complete. The book. Brilliant. So yes guys, look out for that one. Uh, grab it, because you will have a blast with it, I promise you. And again, it's one that's not talked about as much. Right, last little stack here guys, for this 50. Oi, says grabbing them all, hang on. There we go. Uh, I always say this wrong guys, so yeah, bear with me. Beowulf, Bin, Wolf, or whatever it is. I tell you what, fantastic film. Well, I thought it was anyway. I know a lot of other people. I don't really like the film. And the game is all right. It's all right, guys. It really is. See, I quite enjoyed the film. It's up my street, really. Um, and yeah, the the game's all right. Give it a chance. Yeah, the game, literally. There we go. Yeah, and I can feel the weight of this one. Yeah, it is complete. With a load of old stuff in the back as well, I think. Yeah, a load of old gumph in the back as well. So, yeah, look okay. Yeah, seriously, guys, um, even if you hated the film, play the game. You might just be impressed by it, because I think it's actually bloody good. Again, a Ubisoft one, guys. Yeah. And here we go, guys. <coughs> it says I'm a good cop. Oh, I do apologise. Devil May Cry 4. Again, what a fantastic franchise. I flipping love them. Absolutely brilliant. Capcom, again, at their best. Love it. And it is complete with gump, 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 gump. And book. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, again, guys, right back to uh, the very first one, guys. I loved it, and I still love it. Very, very much. There we are. Brilliant Capcom. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, here we go. See, this is what I mean, guys, by different editions and stuff like this. I mean, this is a bit rough around the edges, this, but it is a a more limited edition one. I mean, it costs a pound, apparently, if that's the right price on there. But it's a special edition with the uh, old cardboard box there. Let's have a look. How does this open? Well, I'll well, have a look at it like this first. Look, still got the bloody stickers on it. I was probably scared to take them off, to be honest, because it's cardboard. Um, yeah, it's in very rough condition. But still nice to have until I get a label upgrade. Right, let's have a look and see what is what here, shall we? If I can, he says. How do we get into it? Uh, how do I get into it? Not very easily, by the looks of it. Yeah, not getting into it very easy, guys, to be fair. Oh, dear me. Uh, there we go. Got into it in the end. Persistence and all that. So, yeah, you get this. Which folds out. 
like that there's something missing there yeah it appears to have something missing anywhere it was probably the bloody art book or something that you got with it yeah it's still nice to have it i suppose you know it's a bit different isn't it there's the back there we go i get my hands out of the way so you can see it yeah so it's nice to have it just for the artwork really um, but yes, the book appears to be missing, unless it's sitting in here somewhere. And that other thing, no, that's it guys, yeah, so it looks like the book's missing, which is a bloody shame. Oh well, never mind, at least it's a, at least it's a traditional one. And then we're ending on a doozy guys, an absolute doozy, one of my all time favourite franchises in this genre guys. Um, it's Uncharted guys, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Again, one of my all-time favourite Visa games, guys, is Uncharted. Absolutely fantastic. Bloody franchise. And that is Completo with Book. Excellent. So what a doozy to end on, guys. Fantastic. There we go. So yeah, guys, that's another 50 done and dusted. We're slowly getting there. And there'll be another, at least one part, guys, and it depends whether I can get into there, which I'm highly doubting. So definitely one part, guys, maybe more uh, to come once I get in there. Um, yes, I hope I'm not boring the life out of you with these videos still, guys. Obviously, you already sat through nine parts to my PS2 collection. But there you go, guys, another 50 PS3 games. Hope you're still enjoying it, like I said. And that just leaves me with the usuals, guys. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up. And of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any notifications. And the usual, I've opened a Patreon account. If you want to head over there and watch the video explaining why I set it up in the first place. And you might want to have a think about joining me on my Patreon journey. And with that, guys, after that, 50... I'm going to love you and leave you and start digging out the rest. Auf Wiedersehen, tschüss and goodbye guys and I'll see you in the next one.